Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. Okay, so our NAB 2013 coverage is continuing, and we've swung over to the uh, Ross booth, which you may have guessed. Our good friend Nigel is here with me, and uh, we have a new product here to talk about, which is it's pretty exciting. It's pretty revolutionary, and I'm going to let Nigel explain it because he'll do it way better than I will. Nigel, go ahead. What do we have here? Okay, so we have a brand new product. I mean, we all know how what a tremendous success uh, Carbonite's been in worship, I and mean, we've got. I think we sold over 1,200 carbonates, and out of those, um, more than 50% are in Houses of Worship. So it's enormous. That's in 18 months. In 18 months, yeah. I mean, but you know this, Mike, because you and I sat down with a bunch of other church guys uh, maybe a couple of years ago and looked at what a church system really needed. And so we draw, if you remember, we drew on a whiteboard and said, what, what is it that you need system-wise. And so this is a result of some of those conversations. What this is, is a carbonate, but it's also a routing system. So it's routing, uh, signal management. Um, so in a church, you know, typically I've got not so many inputs, not, you know, a few cameras, some graphics, pro presenter, etc., but lots of destinations, monitors in crying rooms, lobbies, overflow, all of the places. And managing all those signals, managing signals in, in, in a worship can be, can be a challenge. So what this is, is a 144 square routing system. You can load it in groups of eight, so it can be smaller, but with a full carbonite inside. So cabling is simple, management is simple, and I've got all the horsepower of carbonite plus signal distribution. And there's one more thing. I can put two carbonites in it. So those people that actually want to use a separate switcher for front of house or, or, or and, and for program or webcasting or, or those things, they can put two switches inside the same system. So it, it does a lot of things. It makes it less expensive for a start to get into it uh, if you take into account all the signal distribution and cabling and labor, it makes it a lot less expensive. And it's so far here at the show, I mean, every... every w- Worship facility I've talked to are going, oh, that's perfect. So, yeah. It's very, obviously, it's a very well-built, rugged box, uh, fits in a rack, and, you know, you open it up and you basically have your input cards, your output cards, and the carbonite itself, right? Carbonite itself, yes, exactly right. Um, and uh, I, think, I think you're probably going to ask me about this later, but control was the other thing that we talked about, and we also have some really cool solutions for churches being able to create control panels for volunteers and, and maybe uh, we'll talk about that later yeah and that is going to be a separate segment we're going to come back and hit that but as far as this goes this is right now it's all sdi io correctly it's all sdi io yes exactly uh so yes if you've got those you know um hdmi type things you're going to need to convert it externally but yes so it's standard sdi this particular one's 24 by 96 uh, we have this actually in beta test at a couple of churches right now. Um, so we have a church in Denver, I think it's Mission Hills, has got one of these in beta since October. Very happy with it. And theirs is 72 by 96. So it's replaced a, a whole whole lot of their infrastructure. Yeah, that's pretty great. Now, uh, I know pr- it's hard to price it because it's so modular and you can build it kind of how you want, but can you give us a rough idea of pricing and availability? Yeah, obviously, as you say, it's very modular and I can put any carbonite panel on it. So there's lots of panel choices now because we have six panels. Um, so if I pick a middle size one, so something like a 24 by 96 with um, a, a, a 2ME, a larger 2ME panel, you're looking at probably uh, something in the order of $60,000, which when you add up all the bits you'd buy normally, it's about 20K less. So it's a good, it is a good price. Right. And the fact that all the wiring is internal, you don't have you know, just miles of little coax jumpers going from here to there and trying to wire it all together. Everything's gonna be here, your inputs, your outputs, the rest of it's done. Yep, exactly. So very, very neat. And then you've got a cool little breakout box up on top here to do uh, tally and GPIO. That just mounts on a, a rack space somewhere yeah. for all that stuff. Yeah, so Normally that would be in the rear of the rack so that I can just connect up all my cables to it. Yeah. Very, very neat installation. And, uh, you know, 
lots of fans to keep it cool and very rugged and reliable, like we would expect from Ross. So, very very cool product. Um, again, if you're if you're building a, a brand new infrastructure um, and you're going to need signal distribution, routing, switching, and all that stuff, you definitely need to take a look at this product because it it really makes the whole thing very very simple, very reliable. One vendor to talk to, one you know one configuration, and then you're pretty much done. So, and, and don't forget, it talks to Pro Presenter. That's true, with Ross Talk. It talks to ProPresenter with Ross Talk, so I can run my whole production, including ProPresenter, or ProPresenter can run this. Which is, again, for volunteers, very, very helpful. Very cool. It's cool. Well, we're going to go uh, walk over and look at uh, some of the new control stuff we're, we're doing, but we'll sign off for this one for now. Uh, check out the, uh, the next video here, and uh, we'll see some more control panel surfaces.